I don't have questions you could ask him, but I, I'm not certainly uh, capable of answering. Anyhow, I got the impression that these people at the Alice, they got checks from somewhere. And I wanted to know where they're coming from. I, I will find it. I have it highlighted here on the right. Okay, thank you. Okay. Anyone clear on the background as far as it's been stated by Mr. Rubino? Any questions? We can go from there. Are there other items that we're going to? I, I, I have another the correspondence I'd like to share with the board. It has nothing to do with this. Right. It's actually from our agenda. Right? It's, it's for, for, uh, for me, I guess, as Corporation Council, uh, and not necessarily Council for the Board. But uh, there was a resolution that was submitted, and I just want the board, for information purposes, to have copies of it. Uh, and it has to do with um, it was a resolution to amend the ethics code of the city of Yonkers to include a new section with regard to the registration of lobbyists and the regulation of lobbying activities. And rather than comment on it, I don't have any comments on it, I just brought copies because we had asked the city council if they wish to refer this to the board for comment. They said no, but I thought as Corporation Council and Council for the Ethics Board that at least you should see this. Uh, so I, I brought copies to distribute, so I'm going to give one to you today. Uh, unless there's something highly unusual, it certainly sounds like an appropriate. Well, uh, certainly there's something we can discuss. I, I just brought it uh, for information purposes. I don't know if it's going to be good. Uh, it's good. I'm uh, oh, sorry? Was it no, no, not that. It's in committee. No. 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 All right. Still haven't asked. No. And, uh, and we've asked. 
Well, there was a response from Mr. McLaughlin. And the, that was the only one, but we were and supposed to get responses from the Mr. Three. Lesnick had said that his suggestion was the same as a Navi, and, that, and that's the first one we got. Never come. Never come. Never come. That was the one. Oh, I was talking about it. Yeah, she was the first name <coughs> suggested by all three, and then we went back and said we need three individual names, where we got the second one from Mr. McLaughlin, which is not one we could use, and nothing from Mr. Navi. All right, because that's going to become very, very relevant in our executive meeting, the executive yeah. board. I suggest that we table this and take it up next year again when we know what the city council is because whatever comes out now is going to be uh, null and void. Let's deal with the new city council, whatever it is, and discuss it on the first meeting next year. Well, we could really use the names that we were given yeah. if we had to. Frank, in, in yeah. Frank, we'll see in a few minutes when Mr. Rubino takes his crew out of our meeting. How relevant this issue is. Andy, you said no? So we will stay in a moment. All right. Well, I guess that's something we can discuss. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, that's the only item of um, non uh, of unconcluded business from past meetings. Huh? New business then is the next item on our agenda. Any new business someone wants to propose that we consider? Or do you feel we have a full plate <laughs> facing us up the road here, please? Well, there doesn't seem to be any new business, so uh, let's then move on to the next item on the agenda would be uh, retiring to executive session. Would it not? So that being the case, Ms. Brown, you are relieved. I'm going to make, I'm gonna make, I'm make a motion to uh, go into executive session. All right. Discuss the, the, the correspondence and such. Correspondence. The, the, the someone in the motion. Uh, would someone second Mr. McDonald's motion. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. All in favor that we retire to executive session, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. All right. Um, it's not complex and it, it brings up a lot of issues. So the board uh, would reserve any decision or any action at this time. Uh, they. Uh, We'll meet again on Thursday, December 3rd. By that time, uh, they have asked the Law Department to do some research and uh, to look at uh, the, the issue of whether our code uh, and any the allegations in the uh, in, uh, report uh, rise to the level of being a violation of our code. So the Law Department will do some research with the Board. The Board will review the material and we convene on December 3rd uh, to then decide. You're referring to the mayor and, and Mr. Zisman's assertions? No, no, the original report from Mr. Zisman, which was the referral. Oh, on the there, uh, there, just for clarification, there was no referral to the ethics board in the mayor's correspondence, right. so the board did not address that. Uh, so you're addressing what? Only the report with regard to Yalis. Okay. That's a referral. All right. Um, did, um, does anyone take issue with uh, what uh, Mr. Rubino's uh, statement contained regarding what we did in executive session, or do we all agree that that was accurately put forth? Anybody want to um, offer any contrary position? All right. So it would, it would appear that, Frank, we thank you. That's exactly my recollection of what occurred, and you summarized it very competently. All right, so um, that was the, the only thing that, uh, took, that we took up on in the executive session. So um, we have, we go back to new business at this point, and uh, when we left to go into executive session, we had no new business to, con to consider at that time. Anything occurred to any member of the board based on what happened? Um, an executive session may have triggered some thought or something? No? All right, well then, if that's the case, I will entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. All right, all in favor that we adjourn to uh, our next meeting being scheduled December 3rd, signify by saying.